and today we are going to be playing um, Subnautica. Welcome to another video. I know I haven't recorded in a long time. I'm still kind of setting everything up. It's been a while. Um, sorry if there was echo then at the beginning. So welcome to another video. Um, are you the Subnautica fan for it started? I don't know what that is, but I have been playing Subnautica survival mode. On a save, and I've gone Seamoth, Cyclops, and Prawn Suit. It's been really hard, but I'm actually going to be starting a new survival game now. So, survival. I do like freedom, right? I'm gonna do survival for the video. Um. This is why streamers have the advantage now that is streamers don't have an awkward silence right now and streamers get to talk to their chat like so how you doing chat look to the left side of the screen how you doing chat okay chat how you doing chat that's what streamers are like that's my streamers impression everyone say hi in the chat come on everyone donate money to me <laughs> like that's my impression of streamers press any button to continue i don't see the any button on my keyboard anyone anyone <laughs> okay yeah that, that was a bad joke up key i'm back here again one There goes the panel. Oh yeah, I forgot the fire extinguisher first, then the panel, then the drawer opens. And now this is where I get knocked out. And now this is where the fire is. And this is where the loud ringing sound, which I hate is. Wet bulb. in the aurora like not blown up well, what was there on before like impossible <laughs> There's the big coal tube. You wanna learn where that is, that's good. Um in my other save I um landed a bit further away from the coal tube. I think I landed um I I I've never really thought of Subnatica as like a really randomized world generation. It's just kind of you land a few like meters away from you were before. I think on my other save, I landed somewhere over there. I think I landed over there on my other save. Um, on the save, I've landed here. It's actually better when you land near the coral tube. It's coral tube. Has sandstone, limestone, and quartz, and a lot of it too. So that's good. It's good to land near the coral tube. It's 
it's like there's a huge difference in fish like from the start of the game there's fish everywhere and then at the end there there's like barely any they are all just running away from you Speedrun this game. That cave is where the sandstone is, but there's also uh, one of them explody fish, crash fish in there. Yep. I'm just gonna let her attack me because I need the cave sulfur. get quite dark in here I probably would need to make a there I probably will need to make a flashlight I don't know why I'd want to scan that and just I'm gonna scan it here we go. right okay I can make the repair tool now Okay, so let's get over towards my life pod. Right, fix all of this mess. So, repair tool. Oh, silicone rubber. Um, okay. What about a battery? Don't you need a battery to craft this? I don't know. Which way is the Aurora? Um, okay. So there's a creepvine forest over there and over there. So I'm just gonna go this way. Fragment have I found? Sea glider fragment, okay. I 
I, I don't know, I have a feeling these fragments respawn, but with the game things you probably need at the stage of the game. Because I, I'm pretty sure that's what happens, because in my ever save I'm like finding like propulsion cannon fragments and like the safe shallows, like that never happened at the start. I, I think it starts like releasing fragments into the ocean once you've gone to a certain point in the game when it feels that you need the things. Because you don't just find a propulsion cannon lying around at the start of the game, so... This is the point of the game where you can find like limestone and fragments everywhere. Um, here we go, there's the creep vine forest I was looking for. The music's always really good in this game. And I think it's getting dark. That? What's that little scanner at the bottom right of the screen? Can anyone tell me what that is? Oh, does it mean I can use the scanner on something? So if I look at something, does it mean I can use the scanner? So let's say I look at this. Yeah, it comes up with a scanner saying I can scan it. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I'm going to scan everything on this planet. Sorry if the screen is dark, this is the best I can do. <laughs> Nothing says starting the game more than a life pod with smoke coming out of it. Right, okay. Repair to all silicon rubber. Make some titanium too. Can I make glass? Um, repair tool, right. Okay, let's fix things then. Flashlight battery. It does use some of the glass, but I need it to get around in the dark. I 
need four quarts. So one, two. Dead applications, rising them. Well, like making them into water and food. In my other safe, I have a Cyclops, and on the wall there's a locker just labeled food. I wonder what goes through these fishes' minds when I just pull them in the locker labeled food. Well, they're probably already dead because they're out of water, but like. Putting them in a locker labeled food. Is that disrespectful? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I being disrespectful to the dead fish? Okay. That's better. My high capacity O2 tank. Or oxygen. Okay. Much better. What other things can I make? Okay, floating air pump tools. Detecting increased local radiation levels. All right. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Is it day yet? Close enough, right? Let's get some. Let's get Seymour from Mobile Vehicle Bay fragments. If you say it's too early in the game, I say not. I think that I want to seam off now. By now. I want to seam off. Team off, where are you? Oh yeah, I gotta go for the huge creep vine forest first, haven't I? Creepy, creepy vine with all the stalkers trying to kill me. Okay, 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 sorry. Listen, yeah. Mobile vehicle bay fragment, that's what I was looking for. Don't let them know I'm here. I think they already know that I'm here. They're like screaming. Very territorial of them. Why am I swimming so slow? Oh, it's because I haven't got the fins yet, isn't it? I need the fins. Life on this planet grows in distinct, distinct and diverse and ecological biomes further study recommended. recommended. I was just reading that. It's not like I know the voice lines or anything. What are you? Are you a laser cutter fragment? You are a laser cutter fragment. I need you for breaking and entering into the Aurora. So, thank you. Sand shark. Are you okay? You look like you need some help. I I'm not gonna help you because you're probably gonna kill me if I do. Sorry. Yep, he's stuck. Oh God, he's not stuck anymore and he's mad. Okay, okay, okay. Short range scan suggests this biome supports extensive biodiversity. And connects to a number of small cave networks. I do not see any sea fragments because, oh, sea moth! I do not see any sea moth fragments. Ha ha ha! Wow, very funny. Are they called sea moth fragments because they're hard to see? Is that a scanner room fragment? 
I believe this is a scanner room fragment. Scanner room fragment, yes it is. I've got scanner room fragments before I've even got the builder tool. Look how good I am at this game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm, either moon pool or bioreactor fragment. Bioreactor fragment. Hi, life pod 17. I actually found you before you send the transmission out. Are you, are you impressed? Right, look, there's, the, there's my first Seymour fragment. I was looking for this. This is what I was looking for, this thing. It's quite a big fragment, it's hard to miss. There we go. Perfect. Boom. And abandoned PDA. The Aurora is that way. I need to head towards this way. Towards the end of this creep vine forest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fragment box. And the, sh and the sand shark going mental. Stay there. More laser cutter fragments. Yay. There's a few around here. I can never remember getting the laser cutters, Aaron. Uh, you meant to get the laser cutter that early into the game. I really don't think I'm meant to be here this early in the game. Um, there should be a few fragments over there. There might be radiation over there too, though. Usually is. Oh, hi, Reef Backs. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. That means I'm infected. Yay. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Great. That's just amazing, isn't it? Oh, look, another Seymour fragment. There. Is that two? No, that's just another bioreactor. So there's Seymour bioreactor and vending machine. <laughs> Passing Great, let's go get the vending machine too. Why not? Where are you? There you are. Yay, vending machine. Vending machine unlocked. Let's get the bioreactor too. A huge cargo bay and scrap metal. More scrap metal. I think that's another bioreactor over there. And I need to swim to the surface because I'm running out of oxygen. This character, um, Wiley Robinson, his name is, if you didn't know the character from Subnautica, he is so lucky that the Aurora scattered the bits of salvage everywhere because if it didn't and everything stayed in the Aurora, he couldn't get a laser cutter and there would be no way of getting all this stuff. And he w most likely wouldn't survive without all this. 
He could probably live in like the alien bases or something, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry if you haven't played the game before. I think I just spoiled everything in the game. In the in, the, in, the, in the, so far in this video, I think I've already spoiled everything in this game. Bio reactor, bio reactor, bio reactor. I already have it. So give me the titanium. I am titanium. Also, if you're wondering what's a good key to bind up and down to, um, I would say R and F, unless you're, it's bad when you're holding the scanner though, because like when you try and swim down, you scan yourself, but if you just don't hold your scanner, then R and F works fine for going up and down. Why do you need to bind up and down swimming? It's important because once you get the bigger submarines, you need to be able to control up and down to actually like, move properly so and it's better for like the caves and stuff so okay yep that's a big wreck actually i don't think that was any of the aurora then i think this is the degassi i think it's called or part of it maybe part of the degassi and look there's my last seamoth fragment down there i believe I think that's the bottom of the seamoth. Oh. I hope it is now, otherwise I'm going to be annoyed. Seamoth fragment, yay. Now I need the mobile vehicle bay. More seamoth fragments. Boop. My inventory is going to be full in a second. Right, I need to swim up for more oxygen a second. It's a shame you can't get the beacon this early in the game. Because because then I could mark this and then later when I've like made the laser cutter then I could like cut into you. I think that's another Seamoth fragment down there. I think there was a scanner room fragment down there too, so I want to be coming back for that. Um, that's a Seamoth down there. That's a Seamoth fragment, definitely. Um, see, there's two scanner room fragments down here. There's one there and one there. Um, the one of the Cyclops bridge fragments and the scanner room fragments look very similar. Right, scanner room. The only thing I really need now is the mobile vehicle bay. there's any way into here without the laser cutter is there maybe for one of them like vents but I don't think I don't think I can do that um, yeah I don't think there's any way in here without a wait 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 there's a doorway right there okay I'll come in there now just need to get to the surface and now it's not letting me move. Oh, here we go. I was pressing the key on W. Yeah, I need a laser cutter for that, I think. Um, 
think I can get down here though. Okay, laser cutter again. I think I've got it. Oh no, I've just unlocked it. Okay, this bit gets disorientating. Oh god. Here you go, propulsion cannon fragment. That's a good one. Um. So basically, this is the ship full of supplies to break into the Aurora because you need propulsion cannons to get in the Aurora too. Oh, another one. Right, okay. Propulsion cannon unlocked. Okay, let's get back up here now. I was kind of hoping for a mobile vehicle, but... <laughs> right, I need one more mobile vehicle bay somewhere. I don't think I'm getting that yet. Wow. Getting in them wreckages is so is like so disorientating because all the walls are on his side and it's like really hard to see around. Kind of gives you a bit of motion sickness, like. Well, wow, these batteries run out really fast. They, I, you never really notice when you go up to iron bat batteries, but when you go back to normal batteries, you 100% see the difference. The radio there, I've got this a radio. You start off with the radio um, because it's in your life pod. There's a, like, Something down here. Oh god, this is so disorientating. Oh. Right, okay. What's this? Corn suit fragment. Wow. I really don't think I should be getting this at this time of the game. Modification station fragment. This place is gold mine. Okay, yeah, I want to move up a bit. Modification station. This place is really good. Data terminal. A record. Oh, okay. Mobile vehicle bay. Okay, really need to get to the surface now. Is there any way out here? I'm going to drown. 30 seconds of oxygen. Yep, I'm going to drown. Uh, well. It was nice seeing you. Um, I'm about to respawn in my life pod once I drown, so. Oxygen. Yep, I'm dead. I am so dead. I am very, very dead. Oh, no, 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 no. I am dead. Battery charger fragment. No! Oh, I missed the battery fragment charger. No, I missed the battery charger fragment. Well, um... I got a lot of stuff from there, at least. <laughs> uh... What did I lose? I lost a lot of stuff. Um... Well, I got the laser cutter. Propulsion cannon. Um, I can make a mobile vehicle bay with titanium ingot. So I need one more titanium. And I need lubricant power cell. I can make lubricant. And I need a power cell two batteries so I need four four acid mushrooms so one two three four then I think I can make a power cell 
Oh wait, my radio is forgot. Okay, I got the titanium I needed, so I'm gonna grab this too. Like, I know I drowned in that place, but I think drowning in that wreckage was worth all the stuff I got from that then. I lost a lot of stuff from my inventory, but all of the blueprints I got then, look at this. That I got, apparently. That, that. I got this. I've unlocked, or I've already unlocked a submarine and part of a prawn suit. Don't know how I've got two out of 20. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, right, titanium ingot, and now I can make the mobile vehicle bay. Well, this one always takes a really, really, really long time to make. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Here we go. My own mobile vehicle bay. Vehicles, right, seam off. Titanium ingot, power cell, two glass, and lubricant. That shouldn't be too hard to make. Um, I don't really think this is very suiting for the seam off. I don't know, I don't think they should have made this in the game. I, I don't think that needed to be in the game, the description. That's one thing that the developers probably shouldn't have put in there. One person, sea and space vehicle. If it was a space vehicle, then, you know, they could, you would just fly it into the sky and just fly over all of the water and dangerous waters i don't think that needs to be in the game but um apart from that i think i think that's designed pretty well so um right okay what do you mean may result you mean mill will results because that's what happens in a few seconds in the game so let's go inside. Beep, beep, and battery. Battery. Uh, silicone rubber I need, so I got. Oh wait, now my radio is gone off, just as I leave. Distress call. It's Dr. Keen in Life Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regrouped one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Will we group coordinates corrupted? Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. One thing I think would be a cool detail if they added this to Subnatica, they should add it. So when you eject from the Aurora at the start of the game, you actually, when you look out the window, you see like other life pods coming down as well as the ship blowing up. 
because I think that would look nice, like seeing everyone coming out of the Aurora. Like they wouldn't have to render people, I know. For the original Subnautica game, I'm not gonna talk much about the Below Zero, but I know that they have cutscenes with people in the Below Zero. In the original game, they didn't really want to render people, really. The whole point of the game was to make you feel like kind of alone. But the thing is, we're all kind of alone now. Once we now we've been all isolated because of the cough, cough. But um, yep, and I'm being attacked. Um, so yep. Uh, right. Okay. Um. That vehicle they have already got it. What I am looking for is metal salvage because I know the stalkers always drop metal salvage everywhere. They they just I don't know why they just grab it, throw it somewhere like that. They just drop it somewhere. They'll pick it up and just drop it in a random place. Like you'll always see metal salvage just around the creep vine forest. Because all, what they do is they'll go out, grab it, and then just go towards there, but then they'll see something they want to eat and they'll just drop it and then they always just leave metal salvage around. So I always come there and just, and yep, they don't seem to mind it. Ooh. That, um, I think they're called jelly rays? Yeah, no, rabbit rays. That rabbit ray then, they went past me and um, I, 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 I swear I thought it was a warper because the blue bit around it is the same color as the warper. I thought it was a warper. I know that, but I'm not in, well, I am infected, but the warpers don't attack you until you've actually got it showing on your hands. Um, yeah, I am infected, but the warpers don't attack you until you have the disease showing on your hands. Oh, uh, YouTube's gonna think I'm talking about the cough cough now. I've used the word infected disease and cough cough in the video now. And this is demonetized. Why does metal salvage always take up so much space in your inventory? The reason why I was getting so much metal salvage it was so I could make the um, titanium ingot. And I forgot, um, I need to get one of the creep vine seed clusters. From here. What can I drop? Quartz. And it's froze. Oh, here we go. Quartz, quartz. Creep vine seed cluster. Okay, save the game. Life pod nineteen. That's quite deep at the minute for me. I need the Seamoth and the Seamoth um, Depth Module Mark 1 to get down there, so I'm not going to be doing that yet. If I go tools, I need a computer checkpoint, okay. okay. Uh, so I need to make elect 
electronics. So I need a power cell, I know that. I'll make silicone rubber. And I will make lots of titanium. Right, okay, then I'll make the titanium ingot. Oh god, I'm using all the power in my life pod. This isn't gonna be good. Uh, what else did I need for the seamer? Blueprints. Power cell and glass, so I need to make glass. I need to make a power cell. How much glass did I need? I think I needed two, didn't I? Yep. And I needed to make lubricant. Let's go and get quartz. And I think the coral too would run out of quartz. Yep, I can't use this as my main resource place anymore. I've completely drained it. Oh, here we go. It's nearly all gone. Note to self, the coral tube is empty. Stop going there now. Unless you want to get to any of these caves for sandstone. I used that. I went in that cave. I don't think I've been in this cave yet, though. Oh, look at the ba baby of the thing I don't want to run into. Empty the coral tube. The coral tube, I believe, is empty. Right, note to self, stop coming to the coral too because you've drained it all out. Look at all this. This is a coral, this is a whole coral tube's worth of stuff I've taken now. I'm wrecking the environment. I'm using all of the fossil fuels. <laughs> Right, okay. Glass and lubricant. Lubricant. Oh, there. Um, right, seed cluster again. We need so. Oh. Up above land, so I need to go. Uh. Sorry, but I need to drop this. Oh, I can't drop it. I need, I'm, go I'm gonna put something in the storage. I, I don't want to drop any resources. Oh right, of course I'm going over here and I don't want to leave anything. Right, okay, so that way. Oh, hi, floaters. Hi. Wow, mouth. Freaky mouth. What freaky mouth? It's not you.
two species living in symbiosis which attach to the end and attempt to feed on any objects that come into contact. Okay. 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 I hope I hope these um, stalkers don't freak out again and try and kill me. Did they see me? No, they didn't see me. Quick, go there. Give me more oxygen. I can't be bothered to swim to the surface. I can remember in the original concept art for this, there used to be like a species living in here, like a snake thing. Kind of like the snakes that live in the jelly shrooms. But they never actually came into the game, so there's a fun fact. Oh, the terraformer too. The terraformer is a never removed thing from this game. That was really good, the, the terraformer. Like, I wish they added that. It caused like lag. Oh no, I'm thinking of the. Um, oh, I missed that too. There used to be a console command where it could spawn like a gallery of an entity gallery. That was it. It would spawn a gallery of every entity in the game where it caused like lag, so they got rid of it. I wish that, that's another thing I wish they added um, back, but they can't. They probably won't really update this version much at the time because they are working on the other Subnautica game, but. Yeah. Right, okay, so silicone rubber. Sorry, going at you on my nose. And what else did I need? I needed. I've crafted the wrong thing, haven't I? I needed lubricant, no silicone rubber. Oh, I crafted the wrong thing. I crafted the wrong thing. Right. Let's go out again. <laughs> this time, craft lubricant. And now it's dark, so you guys and I can't barely see. Right, okay. This time, Joe, craft the right thing. Also, by the way, my name is Joe, if you didn't know.
Okay. There. Okay, radio. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunday. Aurora, do you read? Aurora? Yes. None of the value is on the terror ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. Um, help, we don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach the position. You still need our assistance. Over. Right, okay, um, I've got my seam off now. I think this would be a good point to end off the video. Um, thank you for watching and bye. I am going to quickly save the game. Look at this, behind the scenes, Diamond Knee played quitting the game. I could edit this bit off, but all right. Oh, yeah, okay, um, watch this, th okay. Watch this, the power of editing, I'm actually going to end the video without going here and clicking this, are you ready? I'm on the desktop, but I'm gonna still use my magic powers of editing to end the video here, are you ready?